lovely people i'm kwaba and welcome back to our channel today 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 is every day today 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 today, today. Oh. <laughs> but you guys today we have a very interesting video you never not had an interesting what video can i speak somebody can i speak all right so we are doing the relationship q and a so we ask you guys to send us your questions, anything concerning your relationship, and we will try to answer as best as we could. Yeah. So before we get into the video, as always, do not forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and comment. I really like seeing your comments. The yes. nice ones that even it's the bad ones even make me laugh. So <laughs> anyone went <laughs> I want to mention this. One day we're going to read the bad comments because it says it's hidden. But please do like and comment, and yes. then we will get right into the video. Oh. Okay, so the first question is we're not going to read all the questions, we're just going to take a couple of them and then yeah. we will try and answer. The first question is uh, Hello, guys, I love your channel. You guys are really funny. I'm funny. <laughs> I wanted to ask if it's normal to have a crush on another person when you're in a relationship. Girl, of course! I think it's very normal to have a crush on someone when you're in a relationship. The part where I think it's a big no no is when you actually act on the feelings or on your, like the feelings you have towards the crush. When you start talking to the person in the night, going out with the person. That is where I would draw the line. Oh. But if you have a passion for money, if you find somebody oh. cute, if you find somebody attractive, I think it's oh. okay. Yeah. How do you yeah. Think? I also think yeah, the same thing. And I think we think that when we are <laughs> in love with someone, then it means we are only attracted to that person. But oh. that's a huge lie. There will be lots and lots. And I mean oh. lots of attractive people Rich, down the line. <laughs> and even when you are married, this doesn't mean that when you are married, and you think you found the one and yes, your soulmate, yeah. you will never. That's why sometimes people cheat because they do not expect that mm -hmm. they would be attracted to someone else. So when they are attracted to that person, then they yeah they get overwhelmed and they really act on it. Mm -hmm. So it's really fine. And as she said, if you really value your relationship, just it's a crash. You just you just look at him and go, like, so what? <laughs> And, and end it there. I mean, I mean, like, just know that God's creation is beautiful and beautiful. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. so, so it goes, hi. So my question is, I have a great boyfriend. He is nice, kind and sweet to me. Very, very caring. Generally, we have a good relationship. Just that when we have an argument, he tends to, tends to abuse me verbally. He says things like, bitch, fuck you. Chat. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh. He says things like, just made my phone go. He says things like, bitch, fuck you, because you are stupid, etc. to me. After things cool down, he apologizes and things go back to normal until we have another argument. Mm -mm. Is this a bad thing? I think he really, no, I know he really, really loves me and I love him too. I'm not so sure what to do. So, you go on the night. No, I give her opinion because you give her opinion. Yes. But I will let her give her opinion first because it looks like she wants to explain. Jesus, take the wheel. Um, girl, you have to get up and get out of that relationship. Abuse is abuse, whether it's like physical abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse. Abuse is abuse. And if you're not in an abusive relationship, it is not good for you mentally, physically, your health. Like, even if you are in love with this person and he gets verbally abusive in this stage of your relationship, I don't know how long you guys have been dating. What if it comes to a time where maybe, God forbid, you're married and apart from being verbally abusive, it becomes physically abusive. Do you understand? So my best advice is that get up and get out of that relationship. You love him, yes, but then is it good for you? I would say no. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm going to disagree. <laughs> in this case, um, when I say disagree, I'm not saying what she's saying is wrong. <laughs> I agree with that part, but um, I want to look at it from another way. And if I'm reading, like, if I'm going to take what she's saying, what she's saying, like, 
exactly as it says in saying the boyfriend is caring, blah 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 blah. So let's I'm assuming he is actually a good person. Yep. Stop shaking your head. <laughs> He's actually a good person. What I will take it from is that the only way, as my father Steve Harvey would say, the only way someone will be able to do something to you twice is if you took it the first time. Yes, if you allow them to. So, like, um, and definitely, we all know people are not perfect, yes. And I'm not saying what he's doing is right. It's, 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 oh, it's stupid. It is stupid. Like, it's, it's a wrong thing. You don't do that. Respect is very fundamental in a relationship. But then, where I'm disagreeing is that, you see, some people, eh, they are not brought up the way we are brought up. Some people's environment, like, influences the way they think. So some people see this when they were growing up in their communities and they think that as soon as I'm angry, I'm supposed to be using these kind of words. And then also, and then that's where it comes in. If you took it the first time, that's why he's continuing. It's because it's like, he apologized and you're like, okay, it's fine. And then it, it, from the look of things, it happened again. And it's like, it's been going on. So you're trying to say she didn't set him right the she first didn't, time. I feel like maybe you didn't set him right enough the first time or even the second time. So if he really loves you as you say i know he really loves me and you know that i will not take this bs from you again and i'm leaving you and this person really wants you and the person really wants to be with you he is going to change for you in that kind of yeah. in that regard unless he wants to continue then then you just have to take your advice Bye, Felicia. It's, it's still abuse yes me i won't talk out. i won't talk much so okay. i'm just on the he loves you really part then you should if you love me, stop insulting me. Anyways, my next question is Oh, yep. You said it goes high so far. So, my question is Is it cheating if. Yes. Yes. I've cut it. Oh. I've cut it. It is cheating. So the question goes high so far. So, my question is Is it cheating if my boyfriend always goes out on dates? Um, dates is in quotes with his female friends but he says there's nothing going on with them and they are just his friends yes you know most of the time when we ask is it cheating it, it, it means it's actually cheating but yeah or at least you think it's cheating go ahead hmm. you see cheating there concerts everybody and the way they will say oh. cheating <laughs> and in some relationships people have maybe this is not cheating but the fact that you are uncomfortable with this because you are asking yeah. shows that then you have a problem with it. And then you should tell him that please have a problem. Blum. <laughs> I have a problem with it. And you should stop it. Like, I'm not like saying don't stop. go out with friends. Yeah. So, because then it, it doesn't mean that when you're in the relationship, you're, you should have only one friend. But, hey, what, what? Hey, be the only friend. I'm your only friend. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, me, I would say it's not necessarily cheap. But as Jackie said, if you're uncomfortable with it, then you should speak up. Yeah. That's why you're in a relationship, because you come in a relationship like as two people, so you because get to communicate. Person. Yes. So speak up. And if it was me, would I be comfortable with my boyfriend going on? Like, that was no. No. It's me, the one that will be annoying me, parents, if he's paying for it, because if he's paying for it, then it means yes, then yes, I'll pay your card. It's a real date. You know, like, no. Sometimes you have to go out with friends. Let's imagine if um, he has an old friend from long ago and she's yeah. been out and then they go out and I don't know her. I can't go together like with him. Yeah, because they possible. decide to have fun. Like, yeah, it's fine. But yeah. then if it's always regular, that and now you are week or you're in the weeks. He's, you are no more the priority. You are now like the second choice. Yeah, and, and he's basically in a relationship with this other girl because they are going out there. You and the duration, how long does he spend there? Exactly. With them, like, is it like three hours, four hours? If you are, like, do it right. The bottom line is speak up and then just yeah, see how just you compromise on exactly. that. So, the question is, hi, my boyfriend prefers that I wear long and straight weaves, but I like having my natural hair and braids sometimes. What can I do? Like, she's, she's saying she likes... Teach me. <laughs> the boyfriend likes Teach her me. to wear, like, straight and long weaves. <laughs> But she likes to have like you know, so girls we like to switch it up, like wear natural, have a natural hair and braids. So go on. It's your hair. Do whatever you want to do with it. That's all. Seriously, it's your hair. 
fine he might like it when you wear a wig and a wig and you look nice and everything but it's okay is he paying for it even if he's paying for it it's the hair on his head why don't you go get a wig and a wig then child do what you want to your hair that's all <laughs> so I would say also like it also depends like there's nothing wrong with preferring someone in a certain kind of person. Yeah. And when, when and if, <laughs> when and if, hey, if and when, when if and when and when and if I have a boyfriend, <laughs> there's some kind of haircuts that make me feel like, chat. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean that he's in something else. Anyway, like what I'm trying to say, it depends on the behavior of the person when you're in. The other hair stuff he doesn't yeah. prefer. If he makes you feel mm-hmm. not beautiful, it makes you feel unworthy, then it no, means no. like that's a huge red flag. I don't have it. Wait, wait, <laughs> red flag. <laughs> and I would say it's a no. But if he just makes you feel like normal, anyways, but I just like it, then as she said, it's still it's your hair. Do what you like. Yeah. And I mean, it's your hair, madam. Me, my habit has to have no uterus, no say. If you have no uterus, oh. you have no say. Somebody so. say hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Do what you want. Uh, I'm uh, done. I don't know where the only two questions I speak for my oh, okay. mm-hmm. so, uh, Should I read the last question? You know, yeah, you can read the okay. last question. So, uh, last question I always read because you don't want to make this too long for y'all. Um, it goes, um, so far, please, my question is that I have this guy, I like him. But whenever I go out with him, he always lets me pay for anything we buy. As first, <laughs> as first, I didn't have a problem with it too. But then we've gone out to restaurants and other places and I'm still paying. Please help me now. My pocket is tired. Okay. <laughs> no. You see this one, I'm coming to a place. Like, I, some, I, not sometimes, I sort of, like, I do regard myself as a feminist. And this is where people come and do the whole equality thing mm-hmm. and blah 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 but i mean i still believe in chivalry like yeah, i still chivalry think it's, not it's dead. a great thing yes. and i i don't think it demeans me or it brings my um, worth no. down yeah. except when it's another demeaning form but like from what you read it's like they are going to good and like maybe expensive places and you are always paying for it so it's like yeah. maybe the boy got, it was never offered, and and most of us in Accra are expensive, so we can imagine. I got you also, Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> assuming. I'm assuming. But I, I don't. I, I would say that's a red flag. Like if you, the girl, or you, even you, you are just always paying for stuff. Like yeah, I would say that is not a not like yeah. And she said restaurants. The person said restaurants and other places. So I'm guessing you go to the movies or something. Ah. Does he I'd pay yes. for the taxi? Or I think he's like, oh, let's split. Or, yes. And if someone like I think if he really likes you and he's really tight even, he would like speak to you and explain yeah, to you like yeah, what right. things are, then maybe you would say, Oh, it's fine, I don't mind paying for it. Mm-hmm. But if he has left it to you that you should pay for it and now you're please, that why do you pay for everything? <laughs> the children you pay the school fees. No. Everybody. No, it's it's if it's going to be a relationship or it is a relationship, it's a collaboration and you all need to. She said it's just your guy she likes to. Ah, we're not even in a relationship. We refuse the like. <laughs> I like. Well, me. Uh, let me just say, I was I grew up differently. I like my independence. I like to do things. So sometimes when I go out with my boyfriend or something, and maybe something I bought for me. I go like, oh, let me pay. I want to pay for. I want to pay for myself. But then maybe he goes like, no, like let me pay for it. And then we meet in the middle. He will pay. I'll pay or something like meet halfway. Pay for the taxi. I'll pay for the restaurant. I'll pay for the exactly. restaurant. I'll pay for the taxi. If he is letting you pay all the time, is it that he is letting you or you are paying all the time? Either way, there's still a letting because <laughs> you see the money is going like this. Like stop me. <laughs> and it's been a lot of times like. You see it go, it's not yeah. like boom. It's still there, it's it's go. So here there's I mean, both a letting and I am doing. I feel like maybe this guy's from what team. Maybe yeah. you're like mm-hmm. speak up as wise. Now let. Let's Well just speak up. Ask him why. If there's a genuine reason. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just see if there's a genuine reason and yeah. see what you can do and if not unlike because as i said <laughs> it, when it becomes a relationship uh, it's going to continue and 
needs to be a collaboration. So that's all we're going to bring for you guys today. We have addressed the other questions we had in our DMs. Yeah, I'm so a few more. Yeah. Two or three more. Yeah. Yeah, so um, basically that's all this video is about. If you want to see us do another Q&A on anything or another relationship you can DM us on Instagram. I'll put the Instagram handles down here again and in the description box. You can also send us an email at jnstaff at gmail.com. I'll put it somewhere, flying about somewhere. And then, yeah, those are the ways you can contact us. And you'll be anonymous. I, didn't, I don't even remember the people who sent us. And so, yeah. Uh, that's all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Yeah. And that's all. Yeah, mine is comments. I really love hearing from you. Yes. I've mentioned that in the video, so that's okay. And have a lovely day, evening, or night, or midnight. Bye bye. Bye, people. Follow us, Verano, into me. Oh, God. <laughs>